On a quest to find every single moon in Super Mario Odyssey, then you'll need to find all the portraits. Sometimes you'll see a platform that's just totally out of reach, but there is a way to get there. You'll just have to access it from another kingdom using a secret portrait. But don't fret, here's where to find all 10 of them in Super Mario Odyssey. Just remember that most of the time you'll need to beat the kingdom boss before they activate. Cascade Kingdom Start at the beginning of the level by the Odyssey. Now run your way up to the pool at the bottom of the waterfall and jump into that fresh, clear water. Swim your way to the right until you find a little cave underneath the waterfall. There will also be three purple coins here. Swim up and beyond the coins, there is, miraculously, a portrait. Climb into it and you'll be propelled to the island in the sky in Bowser's kingdom. Sand Kingdom. Warp to Toasterino Ruins Sand Pillar and then turn around and run across the mound with the swirling coins. Drop off the edge into the desert and from here run to the tall tower nearby. At the bottom of the tower, on the opposite side to the Jaxi stop, is the portrait. Lake Kingdom. For this one, warp to the courtyard flag or just head up the stairs on the wall to your left when you get out of your ship and jump into the pool right by the flag. The portrait is sitting in the bottom of the pool and will take you to Sand Kingdom. Wooded Kingdom. Once you arrive, fast travel to Iron Mountain Path Station 8. Drop down to the platform below, go left and down the gap in the fence with the pole sticking out. Run along the crumbling blocks and throw Cappy at this wooden statue to activate the timed challenge. Complete the challenge, pick up the moon, and then walk around the girder towards the large platform. Check behind the rock to find the portrait. Metro Kingdom. When you arrive, immediately run behind your ship and jump down onto the platform below. The portrait is on the wall. Snow Kingdom. For this, you'll have to have finished the main story first. After that's done, get off your ship in the Snow Kingdom and capture the big wind cloud thing that's just down from the path. From there, head off to the left and follow the map around. Soon you'll see a big stone block with a chunk cut out of it sitting in the cliff face. Go up to it and blow it along the icy expanse until it hits the high platform on the other side. Leap onto the block from out of the cloud and on the snowy platform beyond is your portrait. Seaside Kingdom. You'll have to beat the boss here before you can get this portrait. So once you've done that, jump into one of the four jets that propel you into the main fountain. You'll land on a platform in the center, but if you dive into the surrounding water, inside the fountain itself is the portrait right at the bottom. Luncheon Kingdom. You're going to have to do a bit of traversal to get this one. First, warp to the flag called Path to the Meat Plateau. From there, grab a lava bubble and head out through the platforms in front of you before turning to the right. You'll want to aim for the top right-hand corner of the map where there's an island shaped like a mushroom, or a skull, depending on your preferences. Once you hit dry land, head around either side of the platform where all the peppers are rolling from and there's a portrait almost directly behind the lower platform.
Bowser's Kingdom. Once you've beaten all the Brutals in Bowser's Kingdom, make sure to warp back to the main courtyard entrance. From here, jump over the railings to your left and work your way around the building that's down there. The portrait is on the wall on the opposite side to the warp point. Mushroom Kingdom. As soon as you land and exit the Odyssey, make sure Mario is facing away from it and then look over to your right. Head over to the small mound surrounded by some trees and you'll find the portrait at the top lying on the floor. And those are the 10 portraits in Super Mario Odyssey. Let us know if this guide was helpful in the comments below. Click the boxes on the left for more content from us. And don't forget to hit that big button in the middle for more gaming news, reviews, previews, tips and guides right here on Game Trader Plus.